on today's install we have this beautiful molly panel system for the land cruiser 250 uh sent to us by car trim made to fit the land cruiser here 250 um goes on the side here right side left side beautiful quality comes with pretty much detailed instructions i also saw their video um here's their logo chinese it comes straight from them fully bubble wrapped secured no scratches this beautiful uh powder coat on it there's her logo do the details on this it's crazy it comes with all the tools and hardware that you need to get the install going um also again to attention to details it already comes with these double-sided tapes attached and all of their equipment is marked with right or left so you don't get confused let's get to install all right let's get to it so it does come with a whole bunch of alcohol wipes to clean down where the double-sided tape is going to stick to the plastic here um i'm just going to go ahead and use my own rag and alcohol clean it myself just to give it a whole wipe down before i get started so using the tool they provided, it's just a little trim piece remover. We're gonna take these off so we can unbolt these. We're gonna reuse them to mount the panel that goes here. We're also gonna take off this trim piece here and I believe we take off this piece here. I'm not sure about this yet, but we'll get back to it. All right, so once you do these, there's a 10 millimeter bolt there. Um, you're gonna take off the plastic here. That's what it looks like. Also a 10 millimeter bolt. And then this one, you just have to twist and pull and it comes out. Um, when I tell you that it comes with all the tools you need, it comes with this little 10 millimeter to get these things off. Once you have it all removed, you're gonna go ahead and take one of these aluminum rods that comes with your kit and you're going to go ahead and screw it on in there. And then you're gonna tighten it with an Allen wrench. So once you have this nice and snug, make sure you use the bolt that comes with the aluminum rod to make sure it's super tight. Then you take your Allen wrench here, just give it a couple turns just to make sure it's nice and snug. And then you back this out. All right, once all that's nice and tightened, you're gonna take your bracket that's marked with an R. You're gonna cut a little slit in there just so you can get the bolt through. Um, the instructions say to kind of line it up where you want it to be or where it needs to go. Um, and then you mark it with a pen. I'm gonna use painter's tape just cause I don't wanna permanently mark anything on here. Um, but you do put the hardware that's included just to make it snug. You can mark your lines, take it off, and then you're gonna take off the um, double-sided tape that's in the back to permanently attach this on here. All so right. here's what it looks like. Like I said, I put the blue painter's tape on there just to mark where the edges are gonna be. So now you go ahead and take this back off and then now you can take the tape off and then permanently attach it on there. So, all right, once you unpeel the double-sided tape, you can go ahead and place it on there. It is a little bit forgiving, so you can readjust if you need it, but that's what the blue painter's tape is for, just so you mark your lines of where you want it to be. Then you go ahead and tighten this one up and you move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is you're gonna take this bracket labeled R so it can go on that side as well. Um, you're gonna take some of the foam padding that they provide. It's like sticky with tape on there. And then you're gonna put them on two sides. That way it eliminates some of the rattle when it bolts onto that bracket. Once that's done, you take your longer screws. These are a little bit longer than the other ones. Um, and then that's the one that's gonna go onto that. So I pre-attached that one just to hold it in place, but I'm gonna take it out and put the correct one in there. And there it is, all aligned and attached. Make sure you don't block your USB charger there uh, in case you ever wanna use it. Um, it comes with a pre-cut slit so you can still utilize it. Let's go on to the next step. Now we attach the top bracket to the handle, reusing the same bolts that came in there. Um, it's marked right, so it can't get confused. 
So the next step is to take your bracket mark with the R just so that it fits and aligns perfect there. So it's gonna sit right on top of this. It is gonna attach with two bolts on this side. Um, and I think there's something else that goes here, but there are double-sided tape. You take that off and you place it there. Make sure that area is clean and then follow the steps. All right, before you attach the actual Molly panel to the brackets, make sure you add the foam tape on there just so that there is no rattling in case something gets loose. I forgot to add a little bit of Loctite, but I'm gonna go back and redo it. So let's go. So as you're putting on the actual bolts on there, make sure to keep it loose so that you're able to readjust everything and then go ahead and go back at the end and re-tighten it, including these. Don't tighten these up just yet. And for the final panel, again, don't forget to put your uh, foam tape on there. It's gonna attach from the back side of this bracket up there or the molly panel and attach to the bolt there. Um, it does come with a lot of this foam tape, so make sure you use it because there's nothing more I hate in this world than unnecessary rattling when you're trailing. So make sure you use it. So the instructions said to use the flat washers and flat um, bolts for this one, but they weren't going in all the way. They were popping back out. So I just use the same hardware as everything else. Fits perfect. And then to lastly, to bolt this on, you're gonna use the bolt that came in with this cylinder thing here. Just put a lock nut and then a washer and it bolts right on. Now we can retighten everything and we're good to go. All right, once everything is bolted down and tightened, you go and repeat the same steps on the other side. And if you have the middle storage rack, I'll show you how to do that as well. So after everything's been tightened down, all your bolts are nice and snug. This is the last piece that goes on. It's gonna go on this side. You're gonna have to slide it in through here after you peel the tape off. Um, it is going to be pressed up against this part on the back end over here like this. All right, as you can see, you press firmly to make sure it makes contact with the pillar and then you just tighten that down and your build is complete. The next step, if you have a shelf, then is to put the foam, sticky foam on the bracket itself. You're gonna use these wing nuts and it does have three or four areas where you can um, adjust that shelf. I'm gonna put it towards the top as you'll see here shortly. Okay, so I went ahead and put the wing nuts on there pretty tight um, just to secure that bracket for the shelf. And we're gonna go ahead and do that on the opposite side. Next, you're gonna take the actual bars for the frame of the shelf and make sure you got one, two holes to match up with this one. It has one and two holes. This one's a single hole, single hole. So pretty easy, you can't get mixed up match them, put the bolts in, and then we will attach them to those brackets. All right, so the bar that had the two holes goes towards the back for the higher um, part of the shelf. And then the one with the one hole goes in the front. And then they all just bolt on with the flat screws. Easy peasy. So this is the shelf attached. It does uh, have wing nuts for easy removal and install. It has four slots. You can either do it at the very top where I have it. You can go towards the middle, then a little bit lower, and then it actually also attaches to the lowest part, which is here. My option would be at the top, just because I'm gonna have a fridge in here and other stuff to store. But it does have wing nuts. Then all you have to do is put the wing nuts up here as well. So you can see there, I don't know, it's kind of dark, but very easy install, guys and removal in case you need to take it off. And this is the final install from the shelf to the Molly panels. Looks pretty good. Pretty simple install, straightforward. You'll have extra bolts and nuts, but check them out guys. I'll put the link in the description. New product alert.